For decades, ear mold impressions have been taken by injecting physical compounds into an ear canal. But recent advances in 3D scanning technology have completely changed the way that we can perform this procedure. So in this video, I'm going to show you the future of taking ear mold impressions using 3D ear scanning technology. Coming up. This video is sponsored by Natus, formerly Otometrics, the preferred diagnostic equipment supplier of Dr. Cliff AUD. Since the 1950s, Otometrics has been one of the most innovative manufacturers of hearing aid fitting equipment and diagnostic hearing and balance equipment in the industry. When it comes to testing and treating my patients, I only want to work with the best. This is why I use Natus in my clinic. For years, hearing care professionals have been using a variety of different materials to take physical ear mold impressions of your ear canals in order to create custom products like hearing aids, hearing aid ear molds, swim plugs, noise protectors, and even in-ear monitors for musicians. Traditionally, ear mold impressions are performed by first placing a foam block inside of your ear canal at the depth that we want the impression material to stop at. We then mix together a variety of different compounds that we can inject inside of your ear canal, ensuring that we get impression material into every small contour of your ear. After a few minutes, that compound will harden and it will take the shape of your ear. We then mail these impressions off to an ear mold lab or hearing aid manufacturer and wait for the custom product to arrive. This is a method that hearing care providers have been using for years, but it doesn't come without its drawbacks. And I'm gonna share a story with you right now of something that happened to me when I was a brand new audiologist right out of school. I remember it like it was just yesterday. I had a young lady come into the clinic because she needed a swim plug for her ear to keep water out when swimming and showering. So I set her up to perform an ear mold impression. I looked inside her ear canal with my otoscope and everything looked completely normal. I then inserted a foam block to stop the impression material exactly where I wanted it, at the proper depth, and everything still completely normal. When I injected the silicone compound into her ear to make the impression of her canal, everything still completely normal. And I let it go about three or four minutes, let it solidify, and it was ready for me to actually pull out of her ear. And when I did that, it wasn't coming out. And I was trying to twist that, I was pulling on it, she was not having a good time with me doing this. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I, I pulled a little bit harder and it actually broke off. It turns out that the opening of her ear canal was significantly smaller than it was down inside of her ear canal. And so essentially that impression material, when it went into that ear canal space, it ballooned out and it was just, it was impossible to get back out. And so I ended up, fortunately, I, I was working with an otologist at the time. I was able to refer her to the otologist, but she actually had to go through surgery to get that impression material out of her ear canal. This experience that I had early in my career is exactly the reason why I am so extremely cautious when performing a physical ear mold impression and is exactly the reason why I'm so happy that Natus now has Otoscan. Otoscan is the first 3D ear scanning solution that hearing care professionals can use to make a digital impression of an ear, eliminating the need to use physical impression materials. And increased safety is not the only reason to use 3D ear scanning technology. It can help with complex ear canals to perform physical impressions on, like a canal wall down mastoidectomy. It can also increase the depth of the impression and increase the accuracy of the impression because we're not actually injecting any materials into the ear canal. We're not potentially stretching any soft spots of the ear, leading to an uncomfortable fit with whatever device you get. And because these scans are digital, we can send them off to the ear mold lab immediately and get them back significantly quicker than we could if we sent off physical impressions. So do I have you excited about 3D ear scanning yet? Well, let me show you how it works. Before starting the scan, I place a headband on top of my patient's head to use as a reference point for Otoscan. There is no need to use a foam block deep inside of the canal because we never have to inject any physical material into the ear, which makes for a significantly more comfortable impression experience. Otoscan has a guiding tool which allows us to know exactly how many millimeters we are inside of your ear canal, and it informs us when we've reached the target depth. I also prefer to let my patients see what I'm doing by letting them watch the monitor which shows the scanning of their ear canal. A high quality impression can be taken in only a few minutes and viewing the 3D impression on the monitor allows me to point out any specific aspects of the impression that may be beneficial for my patient to understand. 
It also saves me time, because within minutes, the digital scan can be sent off to an ear mold lab immediately to start production, cutting down on delays caused by the need to ship physical impressions. Overall, I believe that 3D ear scanning is poised to make taking physical impressions a thing of the past as more and more clinics start to progressively adopt this new advanced technology. Audiology is working its way into the 21st century, and someday 3D ear scanning technology will become the norm. But until that day, if you're looking for the latest and greatest when it comes to ear mold impressions, make sure that you find a clinic that can scan your ear instead of injecting your ear. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.